Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete Nadamo here. Uh, just wanted to weigh in on the uh, West High School uh, incident that happened last week. I could sue you for thousands and thousands of dollars right now. Right here. No, See this right here? This is why I'm sleeping. I could sue you for thousands and thousands of dollars right now for doing that. See, this is why I'm taping this right here. No, See this right here? This is why I'm taping that. Get out of here. Cop block, fortunately, uh, thanks to Demo's work, connected with some of the folks on the ground there, was uh, able to break that story, and there's been a lot of press about it. Most of it favorable and uh, pretty open-minded, but the union leader has, uh, on a couple recent stories, been, uh, I think, a little critical or uh, omitted certain things, so we just thought we'd take a second to weigh in with some of our thoughts on uh, the, one of the most recent articles uh, that was written by a reporter named Sean Wick Wickham, uh, who Adamo and I actually spoke with for probably over an hour total uh, last week. So uh, we'll link to this uh, right here. And uh, we just wanted to go through it and uh, share some of the places where we would uh, ha have disagreements or wanted to expand. So I guess one thing I would want to clarify, when I first started speaking with Sean the other day, she asked, you know, straight up, like, was this a setup? And I was actually surprised that she even asked that question because... That didn't even enter my mind. You know, we interact with hundreds and thousands of people all over the country, and, and our purpose is uh, to share ideas, ideas of individual freedom and personal responsibility. And, uh, you know, so Mike and Frank, this is just one example of people who, uh, you know, they have the same rights as anybody else, and they just, once they're aware of that, we're, we're more vigilant in standing up for them and protecting them, and that's the way I looked at the situation. Right. I think it was more coincidence that they got a, a cop lock DVD and then were, had a situation where they could film. Officer Murphy might be a good guy, and if, if he is, he should come out and say, I had a bad day at work, I made a mistake, I apologize, and this wouldn't be that big of a deal. Instead, the media, including Sean and especially the union leader, want to go off on people about, is it a setup? What is the kid's problems in school? Why didn't he just do what he was told, you know? One other reporter for the union leader, Mark Hathaway, he said that the, cop, the kid, uh, Frank, wouldn't have questioned the officer had he not seen the DV, DVD, so that maybe I should feel responsible. And I told him, actually, I'm really happy about that. I mean, if we're, you know, look at children today. We're teaching them to, like, bow down and not question authority and just do it as it says and that's you know if you look at history that's where the greatest uh, uh atrocities of like government and personal abuse happens when people just stop questioning if this situation were different if a day or myself would have taken a 17 year old kid and grabbed him by the hair and slammed him his face against the table you know we would rightly be held accountable but because this guy has a badge on the 17-year-old kid, Frank, is suspended from school for 11 days, and the person with a badge on is there the next day. If Frank's dad would have been caught on tape beating him up like this, a lot of people would be would rightly be calling for him to be held accountable. But because this guy has a badge, the, the teachers and everybody else in positions of authority at the school defer to side with him and encourage the kids to leak the footage. I mean, it's, it's pretty ludicrous. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even in the article it says, Frank didn't act differently because of cop luck. He stated that I would have done the same things. But later, the woman quotes him as saying, uh, cop luck made me more aware of how to deal with a situation like this. But the article spins it as a negative and really as a positive. I mean, we gave a kid a, 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 a DVD that made him say, yeah, I don't have to do these random things that police officers make you do. So I see it as a good thing. Murphy has no right to manhandle a kid like that if he swore or not. And that's the bottom line. The fact that he's not being held accountable is the fact why cop lock exists. He doesn't have any extra legitimacy to manhandle a kid and not be held accountable. So I'd like to see the union leader uh, ask some of those tough questions. Go to interview him. We went to, the, to West High School the next couple of days after this incident happened to do outreach. And we engaged, we tried to engage with uh, Mr. Murphy both times, and he was cold and dismissive and would not get and talk to us. And is that the kind of person you want to pay for? Do you want to pay to have a an armed man uh, in school with your child who's known to assault them and not be held accountable? I know I wouldn't. Right, and if, don't take these uh, these write ups as like the truth, the whole story. They drilled Frank. I sat there for four hours while they while several news media's interviewed Frank and asking him about problems in school. What did he do to provoke it? 
What kind of education does he have? Why is he a freshman sophomore? Da 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 da. But none of them. There isn't one quote, one video of anyone asking Murphy what kind of training he has with children. The principal, no interviews, no questioning, no nothing. Same with the police station. There are a few comments from the chief, but it's all about, oh, well, we'll handle this internally. There'll be an investigation. Uh, they go to talk about how the police are going to look into this for wiretapping. And, uh, you know, again, taking away from the situation of what happened, let's, it's everyone else's fault. It's Frank's fault. It's Mike's fault. It's Coplock's fault. It's Pete's fault. It's the Damo's fault. Nowhere on the, on the basis is it the police department's fault, the school's fault, or anyone else. Here, what matters is what happened that day.